In general, people are often confused about the concept of Kubernetes volumes and its components like storage class, persistent volume, persistent volume claim. When it's come to storage class, it's like a template where you define how storage is created. And persistent volume, it's like actual storage that gets created in the cluster. And for the persistent volume claim, it's like requesting storage from these resources for using in a pod or deployment. Let me explain with a simple example. When you make a transaction on phone pay, you usually get a coupon. This coupon could be from any brand like Flipkart or Amazon. And this coupon is available on the phone pay app after the transaction. And we can think of this coupon as a persistent volume which is sitting on the phone pay app because it exists and available to use, similar to how a PV exists in Kubernetes. The brand of the coupon could be any Flipkart or Amazon refers to storage types. When you actually want to use the coupon, you claim it. This is similar to creating a persistent volume claiming Kubernetes. And for the persistent volumes, it is like two types. One is statically, another one is dynamic. So when you create the persistent volume static, it basically created by admin manually ahead of time. In this example, like receiving a coupon later via SMS after the phone pay transaction to your mobile. When it comes to dynamic creation, PV gets created automatically when a persistent volume claim is made based on storage class like getting the coupon instantly on phone pay UI after a transaction. And for the storage types, it's based on the cloud provider. If you are using AWS, we use AWS EBS. When you use the cloud provider as GCP, you use GCP persistent disk. And when you use Azure, we use Azure managed disk. For AWS EBS, it supports GP2 or GP3. And for Google persistent disk, it supports PD standard or PD SSD. And for Azure managed disk, it supports standard LRS or premium LRS. Let me show this in a simple manifest file. In this manifest file, we are creating a storage class with the name fast and then provisioner type we are using is AWS EBS and the parameter type is GP2 the reason we use GP2 is because it's a general purpose SSD volume type on AWS which balances both price and performance for most workloads then we are creating a persistent volume claim with the name my claim in the access mode we are using read write once which means the volume can be mounted as read write by a single node the storage request in the PVC is 5 GB bytes and the storage class name is fast which we created earlier. After that, we are attaching this persistent volume claim to the pod with the pod name app using PVC. We are assigning the volume mount with the mount path. So any data that the pod writes will be stored in user share Nginx HTML path. This means any data written to this pod will persist inside the storage. Finally, we are using volume section with the name storage and attaching the persistent volume claim which we created earlier.